This is the first part of trying to bake our rat infested house livable. We bought this house a month ago in Florida and we've been working to make this house livable. There were so many things that we didn't know we would have to repair when we bought the house. It was not on sale, it was not foreclosure. We paid full price for it and we still had to do all these horrible repairs that we weren't expecting. I don't think that the previous owners used their air conditioning because they had window units. I'm assuming that they knew that it didn't work. So they didn't use it, but the rats were living in there for a long time nesting and peeing and pooping all in the vents and the ducts and everywhere so we had to have them completely replaced for who are starting in the mudroom up there we're going to cut that entire section out into the drywall and replace all those ducts we have our masks and our gloves on and we are ready to start working so we have to cut into these ducts because right now we don't have the air flowing through them since they're super clogged up with probably rat poo and pee and insulation from the nest they were building so that's why we're doing all of this You got it? It is so hot up here and John just cut the ducts in half to try to get all that insulation out. There's a bunch of rat poo in there so we're wearing our mask trying to be safe. The ducts are completely destroyed so we're going to have to find a way to replace all of them ourselves. She's outside in the shade because she can't come in. Gabby is disinfecting the inside of the ducts. With all-purpose cleaner lemon scent. Well, the duct shaft, not the actual ducts. So much trash. It's horrible. This drywall is so bad that I think we're going to replace it because you can see. Oh yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, it's coming off so easily, so we're just going to replace the whole thing. You can see that it's paper thin. The rats? Yeah. They chewed up the drywall? Yeah. Are they going to be chewing up everything? Well, not anymore. They're all dead. But I'm saying, are we going to have to replace everything? No. Just that piece. It wasn't as bad over there. It's really bad here. Why is it bad there? I don't know. The drywall coming down. That's so sweet. Look at how thin this was. Like, you could see it right through disgusting so the rats did this you think something did the termites i mean there is wood at the amount of trash that came out that is disgusting a lot of it's dirt mixed with poo and drywall um it's pretty nasty that is gross we started working on this part because we needed to clean out the ducts, so we knew we were going to have to do that. But once we got into it, we realized that we were going to have to cut out the drywall on the bottom. And that's what I'm saying about this house. It's like every single time we start doing something, we just have to get back into it and like do something else that we weren't expecting. Okay. That's so gross. So gross. <sighs> we are officially done in here it's all cleaned up and now all this has been sprayed and this has two so we're gonna move on we're gonna go to the other room now we're gonna go outside instead of walking through because all our appliances are in there and we're gonna start in this room so we took out the entire drywall behind me on the top to get rid of the ducts that were chewed up in there and it is completely empty now that is what it looks like that used to be drywall and ducts and a bunch of insulation that we already cleaned up so it's not here anymore but we basically did the exact same thing to this side we're gonna vacuum it all up and finish cleaning up here so we can install the new ducts. It does smell better. It does smell so much better. I think that's where all the smell was. We're getting there. The smell's getting better. There's Kennedy. We're gonna continue working. We are done for the day. We're gonna head home now and we both have to continue working our full-time jobs now for the rest of the night. It's already six o'clock, but have to do it. Hi, it is a new day today. My skin has been an absolute disaster. I'll show you a close up. 
Since I got here, I've been eating a bunch of junk food and dairy and that makes me break out. And I also haven't been using sunscreen, which is just horrible because I'm in Florida and I get sun every single day. So I got a fun little set that I'm so excited to show you. We're in the Airbnb bathroom right now and we're gonna open it together. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is the Biosan Sunshine set and it's in collaboration with Reese Witherspoon. So let's see what's in here. Okay, that is so cute. You can see it looks like sunshine and you can actually feel it. That is so cute. This literally feels like a gift. I can take this with me even after I'm done with the products. I got the vitamin C rose oil, the zinc sheer mineral sunscreen, and the rose vegan lip balm. This is the vitamin C oil. It is beautiful and it's also super nice size. Like there is a lot of oil in there. This is the mineral sunscreen. I'm so excited to use this because I am tan and sunscreen a lot of times doesn't really blend in with my face, but this one should. And then finally, the lip balm. Okay, my lips are always so chapped and dry, so I'm so excited to try this. We're gonna put it on right now. I already put on my moisturizer for the day, and now I'm gonna put on a little bit of vitamin C oil. It says to use a couple drops and just pat it on your face. Do you see this? I like, I have breakouts everywhere, and that used to be a cold sore, and I was getting pimples all over my face because I haven't been taking care of my skin at all since we got here because I've been so stressed out with the house and all of that. I also feel like it gives me a little bit of a glow. Do you see that? I've been wanting to buy vitamin C for a long time, but I didn't know what kind to get, so I love that it comes in this set, and I don't have to buy each product like individually. <laughs> I'm also excited to try this because I typically hate the way that sunscreen smells and that's what really makes me not want to wear it. So let's see what this one smells like. You can't smell it at all. It has, it literally doesn't have a scent. Oh wow. This is amazing. Okay, let's see how it blends in now. No, it blends in perfectly. You can't even tell that I have it on. And I don't smell it at all. Wow. This, like I'm gonna wear this every single day. I look amazing, I'm glowing. It doesn't smell at all, it doesn't smell like sunscreen. And it blended in perfectly. Like, you see how tan I am? And I'm also getting a little bit older. I am 27 now, so I need to start protecting my face and my skin and like taking care of my skin overall because I've been doing a really bad job at that and I feel like I'm getting little wrinkles now, so I have to start wearing sunscreen. You know I'm gonna be wearing this every single day now. And last, we have Squalane, the Squalane Squalane Rose Vegan Lip Balm. Ooh, it says it plumps your lips. Okay, let's see because I don't have any lips whatsoever, so let's see if it works. Like my lips feel so soft right now. There's no flavor to it. There's no burn, there's no tingling. Oh, that's really good. If you wanna get your own set, I'll link it down below in the description box. 10 out of 10, I'm so happy. My skin already looks so good, but I'm gonna curl my lashes and like do a little blush and highlighter because I've been looking like a rat every single day. <laughs> so let's do that. Curl lashes look so good, but they take so long. Ugh, I don't know why I get so anxious every time I do it. I'm gonna put on the Jumbo NYX um, eye pencil and I use this as highlighter sometimes. We're just gonna try to get as much as we can here. For blush, I've been doing this for years, but I just put on a little bit of lipstick. I actually took this one for my mom. It was like a little sample and I love the color and I just think it looks so nice as a blush. No, even though I didn't do much, this just makes me feel like I'm glowing and like I'm healthy and not like a sewer rat anymore. So it's been it's been a few days since I last filmed. My family and I have worked on our house for two days now and we got a lot done. So I'll be giving you a tour of that next time. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like when I'm done working because it's not fun at all. I get hurt a lot and I get bitten by mosquitoes and I'm covered in dirt. So I'm going to show you. This is my hand. This isn't even a blister. It's That's my skin. It's horrible. I'm covered in dirt. This is what my shirt looks like. It's disgusting and I look hideous. I get hurt all the time. Like you could see that bruise right there. And my legs are destroyed. 
can see. I can't even shave them anymore because of all the mosquito bites. I'm gonna go shower now. The next time I go to the house, I'm gonna give you a full tour of what we've done and show you everything. We've done so many updates now and my whole family helped to work on all of that. So I'm just so happy to have them here and just so appreciative. Um, but that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Come back next time and I'll show you more. Talk to you later. Bye.